Hey guys, so we are here with another kids art video. I am a couple days behind in the sketching uh, that we were doing. So let's get some of our tools out and let's get our little book out and let's get started. So I think, where did we leave off? Um, sun. So I know we have to do two words. So we have cup and bug. Okay. So let's get our little piece of cardboard and our piece of tester paper and our pen or pencil if you're more comfortable with a pencil. And let's do a cup. Cups are pretty easy, so draw an oval shape, sort of a, a flattened circle. Then draw two lines straight down. You'll notice my lines are messy and sketchy. I'm good with that. If you're not, then you might want to do this in pencil first. Um, and then you can um, go over the lines that you like in pen and then erase the pencil once the pen dries. Um, so then once we have our, our straight lines down, they should both be ending at about the same place. We're gonna start on one side and we're gonna do a curved line connecting one side to the other that hopefully kind of matches this curve here down here. Now, if this were a clear glass, like a gla morning glass of juice or milk or something, then you would see a shadow of the other side of the glass through the bottom. So you wanna put a little shadow there. And I don't want it floating in the air, so I'm gonna put it on a table. So I'm gonna draw two straight lines coming off either side, put cup at the bottom so I know what my word was, why I drew glass. Now you could, of course, in the cup, um, draw liquid. You could fill it with milk or juice. You could put a flower in there. You could do whatever you want. You could leave it empty. So now that I have my shape in a plate way that I like, I'm gonna go over it with some dark pen. Push hard down. Like that. And then I'm gonna take some of our crayons. I think I'm gonna use the purple crayon. And I'm going to put some color in a few spots. I'm gonna suggest a shadow under the cup and around on the table. And a couple places on the cup itself. So it looks a little bit at least two-dimensional and not one dimensional. And you could of course color the whole thing in if you want. I don't wanna do that. So actually, I'm gonna leave it at that. So there you go, cup. And the next one was bug. You could pick any kind of bug that you want to draw. One of my favorite ones to draw is just a simple ladybug which I seem to have done, not in this sketchbook, but in other sketchbooks. I seem to, it's a word that keeps coming up, so I have drawn quite a few of them recently. But here you go, this is a simple way. So I'm gonna draw a T. Then I'm gonna connect with a curvy line, a half circle, the, the top of the T. Then I'm going to connect with a circle E shape, the bottom of the T. Again, you'll notice I'm using loose, sketchy lines. I'm gonna bring this one down more. I don't know if ladybugs have antenna. I think they do, but we're gonna put a couple up here anyway. We're going to draw some circles for the spots. Of course, you can look on the internet to figure out what ladybugs really look like. Go to um, Google and just type in ladybug picture. I forget how many legs they have, but we're gonna give her six. 
I don't know. That might be too many. Might not be enough. I don't know. Okay. Then we're going to take our red crayon and we're going to make all the spots, uh, the parts around the spots on her wings red. And then we're going to take our black Crayola marker and we're going to make her spots black. And I'm going to turn it this way, it'll be easier for me to color. I'm going to make her head black. I'm not touching the paper too hard because um, I don't want to get too much ink on the paper and have it go through the other side. Now I'm going to take a white pen. You probably don't have that. Um, you don't have to do this part. If you have a white pencil or a white crayon, that would work. Um, and I'm going to just add some white to these little highlights on her head. And I will probably do like a little one on some of those spots. Just like that. And then ladybug, oh, bug. So there you go. So whatever kind of bug that you want to draw, look on the internet and see what they look like and then give it a shot. So those are our two drawings for today. I hope you're enjoying this little series and that you are having fun playing around with your art supplies. Of course, always make sure you have mom and, dad, mom and dad's permission. Make sure you've done your chores and your homework first, um, but then have a fun time creating and um, thinking up new things to draw and to create. Uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself and your family because you deserve it and so do they. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.